Hey guys, Leo with Dreaming Tree, and today I'm putting together some really cute tags that coordinate with our most recent bundle, our Sweet Summertime bundle, and you can see the three items from that bundle here on the table. We've got our little summer cottage, that really popular um, flip-flop bag, and then this really cute um, banana split card. So we figured to go along with that, we've got some more delicious little treats. And uh, last minute, we included a little flip-flop tag as well. So let's just jump right in here. It's literally just a series of paper piecing. Um, nothing very difficult at all. You can see the tags here in front of me. Each tag has a base. You're simply gonna fold, um, well, at the fold. And then we're gonna just put on the layers here. So it's very simple. And with this one, we're gonna start with this solid piece. And that's gonna get glued on right to the front. So let's just jump right into it here. This won't take long. I did take a little bit of extra time to uh, ink my pieces here, just to make them a little more interesting. Didn't take long. You may as well, if you've got the time, spend some time with your inks and really kind of take things to another level. I didn't ink this piece, but I did ink this one. It's kind of pointless to ink that layer behind it since most of it's gonna be hidden anyway. Okay, so let's get our glue on the next piece. And then obviously, once you're done with this, you're gonna write your little sentiment inside or put the person's name, whatever it is you wanna put inside your tag. And I've got some string here that I'm gonna put on these tags so that I can get them ready to be photographed. Um, but yeah, very simple little project. So we've got a nice little Nice little ice cream cone here. You know what, the inking on that didn't really show up as well as I thought it would. So I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab a little bit of a darker ink for this, just because, well, everything else, like this piece here, has a good contrast as far as the ink goes. And this one just kinda, once I turn the lights on in here, it's not really showing up very well. Now, by the way, if you visit our website and go under the blog, we do have a series of videos that discuss and show you some of the inking techniques that I use. So definitely check that out. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop that right into place and essentially I'm just lining it up with the little hole at the top and then of course, there's a whole little cutout section here that you wanna make sure that you get lined up. Okay, so that's one. Very simple, look how cute that is. Okay, and then this one here, I've got the base, I've already pre-folded it. And we're gonna take, and this is gonna get glued flat to this piece, like so. And you get the idea here. Very simple, nothing to it. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to, you can choose various sections where maybe instead of gluing it flat, you can add some foam squares. But since it's just a tag, I don't know that, that, that you wanna do that. Probably don't wanna waste foam squares on a simple tag. But again, the choice is yours. It's your project. So whatever you wanna do, however you wanna make it. I think maybe this one is not, not the best one to use a foam square on or, or make it dimensional. But again, choice is yours. Okay. And got that in place, looks nice. And then we've got the actual, looks like we got ourselves a vanilla cone here. It's my favorite flavor. Kind of a plain vanilla kind of guy. Chocolate's not too bad, but I always go for the vanilla. Okay, so just gonna glue that right on there using the little hole where the string is gonna go as my initial focal point. Okay, there we have it. Beautiful little tag. And you can see that, especially when you see the photographs of these projects, when I post them on the website, you'll see how much inking really adds to the end result. So definitely take the time to do that. Chances are you're only gonna be making one of these. I'm making all four. So it was a little more time consuming, but if you're just making one tag, you might as well throw some ink on there. Not gonna hurt anything. Okay, so this piece here, 
goes right there. There's obviously, you can see the little shadow element. You pretty much tells you exactly where it needs to go. And then we've got this guy. And we're gonna put glue all the way up onto the little cherry shadow piece there as well. You want that to sit as flat as possible. Okay, just line that up nicely. There we go. <clears throat> okay, and then we've got, we got this little section here. Some sort of a delicious sauce, sugary sauce. Okay, and then we'll put the little cherry on top. There's a few little dots of glue on that. Don't need to go too crazy with that. Just line that up nicely. There we go. And then we've got the little wafer section for the bottom. Just wanna make sure we get that in place. Just a few little dots. Don't go overboard here either because you've got a lot of cutouts there. And this is gonna be aligned with the very bottom of the base so that we have a little bit of a gap in the center there to create a little separation. Okay, so there's number three, and then we just have our flip-flop. Already have the actual flip-flop pre-folded. I'm gonna put our glue on this guy here. And, and there we go. Put that right in place. And then we've got a few little layers here that we need to put down. We're gonna start with this layer first. You'll notice that you have some little score marks there on the, I believe that's the AC pool or that blue color that you see there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the little straps, the bottom of the straps, and just line that up as accurately as we can. And just pop that right into place like so. Okay, and then over here on the right hand side, you can see this little bump here. You wanna line that up as accurately as you can as well. And then we're gonna take this next layer, pop that on top. Okay. And it's just gonna go like that, like so. And then we have a flower. And you can see where that's going, obviously. And just pop that in there. This is a symmetrical piece, so it doesn't matter which way you put it. it should be fine. And then we've got a tiny little flower that's gonna go in the center of the larger flower. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you want, you can obviously take and put some embellishments on this, um, hit some of these little areas with some liquid pearls, rhinestones, whatever it may be. Um, I'm gonna add some sprinkles to this using some liquid pearls. I'm not really sure how that's gonna turn out, but we'll give it a shot, but that's it. Very quick, very cute little tags. Well, that's it. I mean, that was very simple, very quick. I made four of these. If you're just doing one, it shouldn't take you more than maybe a minute or so once everything's cut out. So anyway, hope you uh, find plenty of uses for these. And as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos. And also, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.